Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Solar Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four series on this YouTube channel. And this series is all about spirituality and metaphysics and the occult and so, so much more. So for this video, we are going to talk about something that I have been so weary of even addressing but it's something that I feel like is just so necessary in today's world and today's society and I've previously made a video on the standard of beauty which I will link up here somewhere but today I want to delve into something like I want to delve into it even further because I think it's something that people tend to avoid addressing or don't really want to acknowledge it within themselves and that's to do with plastic surgery and the insecurity behind it. I feel like personally when you look at the standard of beauty and how it's shifted over the past decade or like a few decades, a lot of it kind of spiralled when the Kardashians came on the scene and if you look at their career and you look at how big the show like progressed to becoming, the more money and success you have, the more that you're able to and have the freedom to make the changes that you wanna make. So as they became more successful, the standard of beauty started to change because people were looking to them, like the public and stuff, we're all looking to them and we're seeing things about them that we like, that we then want to take on for ourselves. And this whole standard of beauty has obviously gone global and is like a huge thing now. And the beauty industry grew with it as well. And like influencers became a thing. Like so much has changed over the past decade or two decades that with what's happened recently with um, Chloe's photo of her body and everything being unedited and sending cease and desist and stuff to have it removed from the internet because she hates it and didn't want it to be seen anywhere. I feel like it's just such an important thing to address now. The fact that it is an insecurity and that there is a deeper issue for a lot of people, even if they aren't aware of it and even if they don't want to admit it, like it's coming from a place of feeling unworthy in the way that you already look and the way that you are and feeling like we have to fall in line with or strive to reach a standard of beauty that isn't realistic or attainable for anyone because they're even editing their pictures even after having all of this surgery. So it's not something that's real. It's not something that anyone can really attain by themselves. And even if you look to certain people and you think that they're incredible and that you really want to be like them, they're going to have flaws and things that aren't perfect, you know? And I just think it's so important to realise that the internet's not real and that what you see on the internet is not real. As I've said before, actually, about it, only being one angle and one strategic pose that people are portraying like even with these videos it's one strategic angle because this is my favorite side (laughs) I've got makeup on how I want it I've got like I was gonna say an outfit but obviously it's just a hoodie this time but normally I would have like a nice top how I want it you know my hair styled how I want it so like it's a specific strategic angle with lighting with makeup with Obviously on photos is a lot of editing for a lot of people, plus their surgery, plus all of these other things. So it's not something that you can buy into as being the entirety of a person, including yourself, because it's not the entirety of a person. If you look at someone from an opposite angle or if you see them in person, they're not going to be posed in that same way because they're like walking somewhere or whatever and it's in real life, you know. So I don't know. I just think it's really important to address the root of this now instead of just being like yeah you can get surgery if you want to of course you can get surgery if you want to of course you can wear makeup if you want to like everyone is entitled to do whatever they want with their own body but when people claim that their body's real and that they're not editing it or that they haven't had surgery when they have and when they're still photoshopping the shit out of their pictures that they don't look like that in person. I feel like that's when we have a problem. That's when literally as a society and as a culture and as a standard of beauty, like there's an issue there because it's not 
real. It's even edited after surgery. So how can anyone possibly achieve that in person in their day-to-day life? And nobody's wearing makeup 24-7. Nobody is um, walking around with photoshopping on them when they see people in public, you know? So like, it's not something that you can keep up with 24-7, as we've even seen by the fact that her photo got posted online by like her grandma or something, and she's fighting to get it taken down. Like, we've seen, even in that kind of case, that it can't be be um, manipulated and hidden and deceived forever. The truth always comes to light. It's always going to come out. And to be honest, like trying to keep up with that seems very, very exhausting. You know, the fact that they have to, um, they tip off paparazzi to come and get the perfect pictures and stuff. Like it seems exhausting to need to go to that extreme to manufacture your image. And I understand it from a branding point of view, like myself even building a brand, I understand how you want to only be seen in a perfect light and you don't want your flaws to be seen and everyone feels that way, you know, but I think for all of us now, it's just so important to address our own insecurities, like on an individual personal level. So many people are just jumping to surgery, especially young people in their teens when they're not fully developed. They're jumping to surgeries and all of these permanent fixes that don't fix the root issue, that don't fix the self-esteem issue that a lot of us have been raised with. Like, it's something that stemmed from our childhood that we never addressed because we didn't know how. We probably didn't even know it was there because we're just kids, you know? And our parents didn't have the tools to help us with that or to even see that it's there because a lot of them are in survival mode themselves, trying to just put food on the table and deal with life. So there's a lot, especially for our generation, like teens, 20s, even 30s, I feel like we're just in a bit of a cycle. So I wanted to talk about it for anyone that resonates with this, that it is really time now to deal with our own shit (laughs) and our own issues. And I'm having to do it for myself. And I just want to put this out there in case like maybe it sparks something within you to want to address it within yourself too. Even if you still get surgery, even if you still want to um, like wear makeup, there's nothing wrong with wearing makeup. You know, we don't have to wear it because of an insecurity. I don't put blue on my face because of an insecurity. I put it on there because it's fun to sit there and create different colored looks. Like that's fun. But when it becomes a crutch or a mask or something that you use constantly, like not being able to leave the house without it because you're afraid of what people would think, that's when it's an issue and something that's much deeper than just glam and just wanting to feel good. You know, we need to get to the root issues of why we do certain things, having the self-awareness in that sense and being able to actually look at our bodies from the higher perspective of realizing that we're not our body. Like, this is not who you are. This is something that you get to experience this life through and it's yours and nobody else has your body, only you do with your face and your hands and your arms and everything, like it's yours. So why do we feel like we need to mold all of our bodies to this one image to look exactly the same? Why do they need to look that way? And I think like, that's the key question, why? Why do we need it to look that way? Because as we've seen throughout the years, the standard of beauty changes as well. And like one minute it's about being skinny and then the next minute it's about having a massive butt, but a tiny waist, you know? So it does change. And why does it change? Why does it exist? Why do we strive for it? And I think there's a thin line between wanting to be healthy and wanting to work out and like, tone up or even gain weight or lose weight or whatever like wanting to do it for your health and to feel good versus doing it because you feel like you're unworthy the way that you are you know and obviously there's layers to this and there's going to be different beliefs for everyone and different um like trauma essentially underneath all of that when each person is to look at it for themselves you'll find that there's different reasons for everyone and stuff and different experiences that we've been through in our childhood and in the past that has led to this belief system that we hold but 
I just feel like it's time for accountability now, especially when it comes to people that are so public, that are portraying a certain image and then lying about it, and then promoting diet teas and all these horrible things that are so bad for your body, and then acting as if that's how they got their body when it's not. You clearly got it from surgery. You clearly got it from, like, of course, they probably um, got some of it from working out, but they got the majority of it from surgery because it's not something that you can genetically change just through working out and I think it's the lies and the manipulation for me that makes me want to sit here and film this video because it's damaging it's damaging so many people especially young people like people that are now having to grow up with social media and with the internet and seeing this image in their face everywhere they look because there's so many women and girls on Instagram all pushing the same image, all trying to mould themselves to the same image. So everywhere you scroll and whichever person you follow, you're seeing that same image constantly. And then it makes you feel shit about yourself because you don't look like that, you know? But it's half the time it's edited or it's surgery or whatever the reason may be. And I just feel like if we all were to deal with our self-esteem issues, then... We may find that we don't actually want the surgery, like we don't actually need it. It's just that we don't love ourselves, you know? And you may find that you love yourself and that you do still want the surgery. But I just think having that awareness and being aware of why you actually want it is so, so important before just jump into these decisions. And also so important to instill in young people, especially children, before they even hit adulthood like building that self-esteem for them to not consume this content and then be triggered by it and feel shit because they've just looked at somebody's selfie that looks insanely perfect you know just to like it's a self-esteem issue to be honest and I feel like it needs to be dealt with from everyone no matter your age no matter anything else so that we can then raise the next generation without this like I'm 28 now I'm thinking about the next generation of when I have children and stuff and it just really annoys me that this shit is happening and that it's destroying so many lives and is damaging so many people's sense of self so I just think it's important for us all to do our own shadow work and then when we all have kids we're not going to pass those insecurities to them because we have dealt with them and then we're able to actually instill a foundational sense of self-worth in the next generation too so that they don't grow up feeling the same shitty comparison awful like feelings that we do you know so yeah that is all I'm going to say on that and I hope this video was helpful you can text and whatsapp me if you want to carry this on or if you need any advice or someone to speak to you can also comment down below if you have any video suggestions because I definitely am open to them and everything about me my links to my music my jewelry brand this is my first attempt at making earrings and my social media one-to-one um, -one sessions with me everything about me is in the description box below and I will see you in the next episode bye Slow love,